Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is I, Mr. Cinema Junkie, and I am doing this video to offer a little clarification. A few days ago, Andrew Ballina put out a video asking what happened to the movie community. Um, when I saw the video, I did a response video, and I said in my video how people collect different versions of the movie uh, because of different covers, different box art, different different editions, and they don't usually talk about the movie over and over and over and over again. Um, if you have ten editions of the same movie, you're not going to say, oh, I got this edition of the movie. The movie is about, and you're not going to do that. That's what my video is about. Well, I kind of missed his point a little bit. Um, he sent me a private message, and it was a very, very clear and very concise message, um, and a good-natured one at that. I don't want to make it sound like he's like, hey, what the hell are you doing? He didn't do nothing like that. Um, but he kind of cleared up his point, and now I'm seeing it kind of a little different. What he's talking about is not people who buy different editions of the same movie or make huge collections of the same movie or anything like that. His point was people who buy the biggest editions, the most expensive editions of different movies because they look nice, because the packaging is nice, whatever, but never once mention anything about the movie inside. He's talking about brand new movies that have just come out on DVD and a person will be like, look, $200 set uh, German exclusive, and I paid 250 bucks for it or something, and or I got it in a trade for something, and then they'll, they'll that's all they'll say about it. Maybe they'll say what's inside of it, but not one time will they say if the movie was any good. Sometimes they don't even really care if the movie was any good, just as long as they got the biggest edition. That's a rare bird, though, because a lot of times when I see people buy big editions of stuff, it's usually for movies that they enjoy. So, but every once in a while, I'll see somebody, like he says, they'll pull out a great big edition and be like, look at me, look at me. And, but they'll never talk about the movie. And I, and if I got that point right, Andrew, then yeah, I understand completely what you're saying. And I agree wholeheartedly. Um, but there are people, I mean, it's kind of like retouching on the same point, but there are people who do that. Um, I don't think the movie community is suffering because of it. I just think that a lot of the people that we used to listen to that used to talk about movies and talk about the, the grade of the movie itself have kind of drifted off and done other things. So now it's kind of become a collection of people who have great big editions of movies and they want to, play, to showcase them. And I understand that, you know. If, if your hobby is collecting movies, collecting toy cars, collecting soda pop bottles, or whatever it is, YouTube is the place to show off your collection, everybody. The, the trick is, I guess, is to find people that talk about the movies the way you want to hear them talked about. And there are people who do that. They don't show any movies, hardly. They'll never show a movie that they bought. They'll just talk about movies that they've seen. Um, I can put a list below a link of at least five people that I know that talk about movies when they see them, they, they review them. So, I hope that cleared up a few things because I appreciate all the comments that I got and everyone was like, yeah, I agree with your points and you're making a good point, but I think I made the wrong point because I think I was making a point on something that Andrew didn't even say. So, for that, I apologize, Andrew. I didn't mean to misconstrue your words. Um, but, uh, yeah, there you have it. So, if you're into just collecting, that's great. Um, there's people out there that you can watch and kind of swap, you know, notes with. If you're into simply knowing about a certain movie and you want to hear a review of a movie, there are people that are specified to that. And then there are people who do both. Who, who do both. There's a few people that collect and talk about the movies as they buy them. So, I guess that's all I wanted to say. 
I, I, I don't, I just kind of thought maybe that because I misconstrued what Andrew was trying to get across, that people seeing my video might be misconstruing what he was saying as well. Um, so I'm going to put Andrew's link below. Definitely check him out if you haven't seen him before, if you haven't checked out his channel before. He is he has a definite passion for for movies, for horror movies. He's he's definitely into um, but other movies as well. Has a very sweet Halloween collection. So uh, definitely check him out. His link will be below, and I'm gonna put at least five people down below that mainly review movies, so you can check them out as well. Cool? Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I'll be back real soon. Thanks.